Shalom and good day all, this is Tehillim29, back again for another Fool's Gold review, uh, covering some more Brian Michael Bendis with Justice League issue 69. To those who are new, um, this is how I cover Fool's Gold. I rate the cover, the art and the story. Of course the total goes towards the artist as well as to the writer. Uh, now, this is the price I paid for it, and this is how much I pay for it in Australian dollars, so $8.95. But also in my rating, I also point out how much I believe the cover, the art, and the story is worth. I will be pointing out that I will not be covering the backstory, even though I have read the backstory in this. It is so much better than the main story. So jumping in the first things first, does this cover in any way, shape or form connect to something that is happening inside the story? Surprisingly it does, to which I gave it a 6.5 out of 10, and I believe it's worth $1.45, just for the cover alone. We will now jump to the internal art, which we'll see the beginning, middle and the end of the story. And you'll get my rating for the art and how much I believe it's worth. So, jumping into the beginning of the art, we've got the members of the Justice League. And also the members of Checkmate, which actually Damian Wayne should be in there. It's the only character missing. Some of the art uh, around the middle of the story, to which Hippolyta makes her appearance. Now this is towards the end, which we've got the appearance of the Royal Flush Gang. But I will include um, an additional end piece as well. And I don't care that it's a spoiler. Alright, for this I gave the art a 7 out of 10, which I believe it was worth $1.50. For this Fool's Gold review. Now it's time to jump into the main thing, the story. Now to those who watch my videos quite often and to those who are new to the channel there are things that I like specifically to see in my stories to help rate the story better starting off with first things first were there any comic references in the story in other words comic references help to point out if there's something that has happened in a previous issue that you might need to go back and check on um, even if you are a new person and picking up this Justice League comic and there's no comic reference, like maybe to a previous comment, uh, comic as to when this arc particularly started, um, it's why those things are important. And not only that, it also helps the writer of the story get more money. <laughs> but of course Brian Michael Bendis obviously does want to get more money that's understandable you can't bank on Bendis at DC Comics but I'm moving on to the next thing were there any comic references none at all okay did we get the next thing which is did we get any indication of what time of day that this was place, uh, was taking place um, morning, afternoon, evening, um, 30 minutes into the day, or the day after, none of that at all. So, points lost there, or points lost on those two things. What about locations? Well, to be honest... The locations weren't pointed out, but I was able to make out where the locations were. 
uh, again points lost but seeing I knew where some of the locations were uh, from previous issues we had the Hall of Justice and we also had a link to the Fortress of Solitude the cast of characters being made up of the Justice League and also the cast of characters connected to Checkmate we also had the cast of characters of the Royal Flush Gang and last but not least we can't have the Fortress of Solitude without Kallax this story continues from the last issue and I, I, I admit it's fairly poor in its delivery I understand what Bendis is trying to do he's trying to connect the events to somewhat happen in the checkmate or the latest checkmate issues that happened to also the event Leviathan stuff and then there's this new thing that's happening here I felt it really brought down the story to which the story level didn't get a 10 out of 10. In fact, it got a 5 out of 10. To which I believe the story is worth a dollar overall. Well, until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.